Well, I like most that the teachers really keep us engaged. I like that they teach you a lot and they don't just pass you through. The teachers here are really good. They teach us uh, a lot so we can be prepared for the next grade we're gonna go to. That's like the top, bottom, left, and right. Just like the education that my children have received at ISEF so far um, has meant a critical difference to us. They see every child as having a possibility for success. ISEF is preparing my child to go to college by making sure they have everything that they need. I have transferred them from school to school just so that they can be challenged and they are challenged here. I, ISEF started in 1996 when a group of parents got together with a crazy English teacher from, uh, from New Jersey and created an amazing after-school program. And the focus in that after-school program was on academics. The academics that the kids weren't getting during the day in their public school. And now we have 15 schools throughout South Los Angeles. And 97% of our kids graduate. 100% of those kids go to college. 90% of them go to four-year colleges. You know, you don't you don't get those kinds of statistics anywhere else. Never give up. <laughs> <laughs> I have been admitted to Dartmouth College, and George Washington University, and Vassar College. I've been admitted to three UCs, UC Davis, UC Riverside, and UC Santa Cruz. I've been accepted into four colleges, which include UCLA, UC Santa Barbara, Manhattanville College, and Goucher College. There's a culture, a camaraderie among the students uh, that they're self-motivated. They want to be successful. They want to get into the top universities. A tradition that we've had here has been that when students get accepted to college, they come and bring us their acceptance letters. And this, and this year, we've had an extraordinary amount of students get accepted uh, into top universities. And we proudly display their acceptance letters around our classrooms. I've been accepted to nine colleges. I think ISAP's given me the opportunity to be academic and also athletic and balance the two together. Uh, I'm part of the rugby team, which is re really unique to this school. And we've got the opportunity to go to Hong Kong, which is what was an amazing trip. I thought I taught you to love it. There ain't nothing left for me to love. love to love to love. And if you ain't learned that, you ain't learned nothing. We get asked that a lot. Why, why spend so much money, money that you don't generate from ADA, on visual arts and performing arts and the athletics. It has to do with kids developing a sense of pride and uh, a sense of ability. If you are raised in a community and you're educated in a school that tells you you do have value, you are excellent. You're excellent in many things. You're excellent academically, you're excellent in sports, you're excellent in drawing, you're excellent in robotics. All of a sudden you engender a new type of individual who feels very capable and very able and who knows that he or she can compete in college and beyond. When I grow up, I want to be a speech person type and I want to be able to tell people or tell the world how I feel on the inside of me. I want to be a pediatrician. I want to help sick kids. Our children represent the future. And when our children are successful, then we have a brighter future. In our country and in our state, we're facing a big financial deficit. We're facing unemployment. We need to be graduating the next level of businessmen, the next level of bankers, the next level of politicians, the next level of doctors and nurses and educators in this world. And it's our responsibility as a community to make sure that we're doing that. The bottom line is that the state's just not going to provide adequate education anymore. We have to take it into our own hands as citizens through our democracy to create these wonderful public schools. And it's not going to be a matter of us being able to just sit on our heels and send our kid off to the local school. We have to be involved. And that means we have to be involved with our time, we have to be involved with money. And when I think about you know, all of the different people that we need to run our community, I want to make sure that the paramedic who picks up my child in an emergency knows how to read the medicine label. Now, I want to make sure that the next mayor of Los Angeles is going to understand economics. All of those positions in the future are going to be held by our kids, and especially our ISAF kids.